So Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. I want to tell you a story. You're probably wondering how we got to this point right now. And it's a fair question. But I think we have to go a bit back in time and so I can show you how everything started. The people I grew up looking up to was inventors. Inventors are kind of the people that take their ideas, use their hands, and create something new so everyone can use that. And I grew up in Peru, and it was, it was pretty far from everyone that I thought I wanted to be with um, to create things. But at the same time, I also had great friends there that kind of kept this spark in me to keep creating. Um, so as a kid, I was kind of sad because I didn't really have a robotics team in school, but the way I kind of did my own thing was walking around my house, finding for broken things I could fix. And if that didn't work, I would just like completely take it apart and make something completely new as an excuse. <laughs> now, I, I was looking around everywhere, and everyone, everywhere you can really see that everything is being invented by somebody else. If you look in your pocket, if you, for example, uh, drive home, everything has been created by somebody, and that's actually something I always wanted to be like. I wanted to use my hands to create new things. So I did. When I was a kid, I made my own Iron Man glove, and I literally made it out of a box of scraps, just copper scraps. And I made my own DS. It's a Nintendo DS a card, uh, with a, a SD card and everything, and a web shooter, for example, that just launched rubber bands. And the movie that really changed everything for me was the movie Iron Man. And it's just a superhero, of course, but to me, since I was already making things, and the character in the movie makes literally superpowers with technology, as a kid, I thought, that's pretty cool. Why, why can't I just do that, you know? Why can't I just use my knowledge, my hands, and make my own thing? And so I did. I did my first prototype, just cardboard, of course, but it was a start. And then we moved into pretty much just mentioning that everything that every single project that I was doing was actually just intended to be part of this big, big project at some point. So for example, I was making an arc reactor, and which was not really an arc reactor, but I was using LEDs. So I went to the hardware store and asked the guy there, can I get some LEDs to make an arc reactor? And he was like, you want to do what? <laughs> so that was kind of funny, but um, then when I grew up a, little, a bit more, I bought my first 3D printer, and this allowed me to, you know, fabricate parts in my home, and it was great. I created a few gadgets, but nothing close to uh, Iron Man, functional Iron Man suit, of course. And so when I got my second 3D printer, I actually was able to print the a complete suit, and it was still only plastic. But in my head, it was like, what if I just you know, what if I just add a rocket launcher, for example, like in a movie, or some flamethrowers? And the, th really, the only thing that was limiting me is just knowledge and resources. Everything was in my head. So I pretty much just started a 3D printing business so I could afford better tools. Then I moved to Canada, and then I got an internship at Hacksmith Industries, which was great because, you know, I got to learn so many things. The third iteration was pretty much that. And then I was kind of sad because like, I realized, well, of course, okay, I can have these tools, but I cannot, I'm not really passionate about it anymore as I was before. But, and then I soon realized that even though I had all the tools and knowledge that I wanted, that was not just gonna make me build things. So then I, I, I found Socratic, and that was brilliant because I was able to find friends that would make me create again. So I kept creating and did more sketches of my ideas and then that turned into something. But everything really started with something like this, something, something very basic. Then this turned into something like this, and then into like this, and then into physical projects that you know, I was able to enjoy with, you know, with, make with friends, which was probably the best part of everything. The friends are really, I think, the, probably the, the, the thing that I can say is the thing I enjoyed most of like the projects because even though the project is cool at the end of the day, you know, it's about experience I got with these people and you know everything that the bond we created at the end of the day. But that brings us to today, to the latest iteration of this project. And with this in mind I want to introduce the 
latest version of my work, the Exo Ranger project. Uh, video should be playing, but I don't know why it's not. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so let's talk about a bit of this project. Just gonna go um, for the basics, because you can, then you can check my booth and I can answer any questions you have. But pretty much, this is a working exoskeleton, which means you have an augmented strength. You can increase your strength and also your accuracy. Um, but this has really only been working on for about two months. So it's not fully completed, it's barely started. But you know, it's a starting point, so because I printed everything, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty much the beginning of what it's gonna end up being. But I think it's a great start, so I, I can keep working on it probably for a few more months. I'm really happy I got to this point, but if you have any more questions, you can you know, come to my booth. Um, this term I was actually pretty, pretty tired of, I was okay working you know, late nights, and it was, it was pretty fulfilling for some reason, because usually I'll be just, okay, just let's go, let's go do it the next day, but this time I was, okay, just, if, if we stay the whole night, maybe I can complete this or bring it closer when we present it as symposium. So what's next? I really want to incorporate the augmented strength because this is, must, this is pretty much just, uh, you know, an exoskeleton that doesn't have the augmented strength yet. It's the, only the harness. But in the future, it's going to be. So thank you so much for coming. <laughs>